everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard, and as most of you guys do know, I work very closely in the egg industry, in the research and development. Over the last couple of months, I've been extremely busy, and I could not answer all of your questions that you guys have asked on this channel and on my social media platform. Today, I thought to myself, let's make this a special episode, and let's do a little bit of hunting and answer a little bit of questions. Let's go out there and let's get started. Hi Gerard, why do you do so many pest control videos on shooting pest birds? Well, that is a very easy question to answer. I was raised on a farm myself. All of my family is farmers and I know exactly how much damage pest birds like this can cause on a farm. So my whole thought process behind this is I now can go to a farm, I can go shoot those pest birds for the farmers, I can help them out and then in the same action I can create great content for you guys to watch. So that's basically a win-win for all of us.
do you only shoot slugs and no pellets? Yes. When I do hunting here in South Africa, I'm only allowed to shoot a 22 caliber and lower. And for that reason, I basically use slugs most of the time on the farms when I'm doing hunting like this. When I go indoors and I'm shooting with inside the sheds where there's roofs or backings like that, then I will go for the pellets because I don't want something then to carry a lot of energy. You want something to lose speed and energy quickly. And that is where I will use basically the pellets. I do competitive shooting and in the disciplines that I shoot in, I'm only allowed to shoot pellets anyway in the bench rest. So most of the time when I'm doing the bench rest here in South Africa, I use a 8 grain pellet and a 10 grain pellet in 177. And when I compete in America, I use a 30 cal 44 grain uh, pellet in that setup. And believe it or not, that's one of my favorite setups. Why do I have hearing protection around my neck? I'm going to shoot air guns. You don't need it. Correct. You don't need it. But this is the new Ear Shield Ranger electronic earmuffs that Otis has sent me. These bad boys just got some Bluetooth in them and I connect it to my phone and I listen to the tunes while I'm shooting. So that is why I've got them around my neck and I will be using them today.
What method of tuning do you use to tune your guns? Now, if you are referring to air guns, then I will say velocity or speed. What I basically do is I take my pellet or my slug, I will put it inside the gun, and I will shoot different speeds to see where that pellet or slug performs the best. I will also play around with different rec pressures and hammer and valve settings to get the best harmonic note in that setup. And then if we talk about the firearm side of things, obviously load development is the only thing that I do and play around with the setups over there. So hopefully that will answer your question. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Just before I go, if there was a question that you wanted to ask me and I didn't answer it in this video, then please feel free to leave it down in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer it for you over there. For the rest of you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.